Maslonski baseball team uh, who just turned a 6 nothing deficit into a 14 nothing win. Coach, how'd you get it done today? Uh, you know, we stayed in the game. Um, you know, early on, we talked about how even when we were down 6 nothing, we had five or six pitch at bats. You know, our guys were making them throw. So we wanted to get that first lefty who was kind of throwing us off balance at the beginning of the game. We wanted to get him out of the game into their second, third, and fourth pitchers. And we were able to do that. Um, and we were able to get to them, and we knew our bats would wake up. Yeah. Was it just a matter of hitting being contagious in that in that fifth inning? Because I think you had seven hits, and it seems like every player got one. Uh, I, you know what? That is part of baseball. You know, um, confidence builds when you see the guy in front of you have success. Um, I think that is a lot of what happened. But also, you know, we haven't seen a ton of live pitching here in preseason. Um, much like most of the teams here in Central Maine, you know, we haven't got out on the field too much. We had one preseason game. We've tried to do some simulated um, at bats in the gym as far as getting some live pitchers. Um, live pitching uh, looks in the gym, but um, you can't really simulate a game situation like this uh, inside. So um, I think part of it was we just hadn't seen that live pitch and we started getting you know, towards our second and third um, times through our lineup. Um, and I think you know, our guys' confidence grew. You uh, got a, a, a relief pitcher in Sean Acorn, a freshman who got yep. his first varsity uh, action today, and yep. he got the win. Coney's yep. uh, lineup couldn't do anything after he got in there. What can you say about the game he had on the mound today? Um, you know, that wasn't the plan uh, off the <laughs> bat, uh, but when we needed to make a switch in between innings, um, I had our starting pitcher, Donovan um, Herman, on a pitch count. Um, so he hit that pitch count in the middle of the inning, so we knew there was a possibility of bringing Sean um, in there. Um, he did a great job. Uh, he throws hard. Um, I told him, you know, you're throwing strikes. He's got a nice running um, fastball. Um, he's hard to hit. He's hard to pick up. So um, I knew if he threw strikes, he'd be successful out there, and that's what he did. He challenged the hitters. Um, you mentioned uh, not having seen much live action yet. Uh, you had some errors in the first few innings that co yeah. cost you some runs, uh, but it seemed it seemed like the third, fourth inning, you guys settled in and just and just kind of brushed it off. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we were talking about after the game. Again, um, we knew those you know those physical errors would come. We hoped that there wouldn't be any mental errors, right? Um, so mental errors you can prepare for. Physical errors, you know, that comes with practice and reps and being outside. So um, you know, I'm not too worried about one throwing error and then uh, you know my right fielder got blocked by the sun on a play. <laughs> you see, at the end of the game, it was still it was affecting the other team too so um, I know that was tough uh, to see those high fly balls in right field all game um, so I'm not going to harp on that I'm not too worried about that coach congrats on the win yep. best of luck going forward awesome thank you appreciate it